Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Today's day 27 of the 88 step program. Pick a number. I picked 88. And the reason we do this is to break free of old patterns, old habits, or establish new habits or new uh, goals. It's a way that we can observe ourselves in a way that we can see more of the world. Well, we're always looking for the answers outside of ourself and looking for the truth or more information or more knowledge outside of ourself. Do we ever bring that knowledge back inside and then just try to digest it? Or do we just go out and seek new information, grab it, seek new information, grab it, seek new information, grab it. And then when somebody asks us that question, we go, yeah, I already know that. Look, it's right here on uh, Google. I know exactly where to get it. I just have to go back to Google. And so as that being the example where we go out and seek and grab information and knowledge and grab information and knowledge are we really retaining it are we getting smarter each day by going out on the internet are we able to if we were if we took the internet off and had to do let's just say an IQ test whatever that might mean would we be able to answer some of the most basic, easiest questions without going to Google? We're in a, such a fast-paced society that it's so easy for us to become overachievers because we can get all the information, all the products delivered straight to our house. Information, products, anything. You know, you want to start a new hobby, a new craft, a new uh, study. You want to get a new college degree. You can do all of that at home on a computer, right? You can work and get a job. You can get paid. You can spend it all on a computer without ever even leaving your house. COVID-19 2020 kind of proved that to many people more than they realized that they were living in a society. They were living in that society before 2020, but they just didn't realize it. It really came to a head in 2020. And because of this, we can be such overachievers, constantly chasing after something. And I repeat, do we retain that knowledge if the internet... I'm not saying that the internet's ever going to go away. I'm not saying that there's going to be that type of thing happens. What I am saying, are you personally learning things and then retaining it? Maybe it's not important to you. Maybe it is important to you. If it is important to you, when do we actually stop chasing the information and then digesting it so that we can keep it? At what stage do we do that? It's not when we're flipping through the internet looking for the next thing and then read something or watch something. It's not during those breaks. I'm going to steal a quote from somebody I thought was just a brilliant. The kid's name is uh, Andy Anderson. The kid's just brilliant. He does his own thing. It's irrelevant what he does. He's, uh, he's a skateboarder, actually. And he just skates differently than most people. He's got his own way of seeing things. And he had this uh, quote that he was talking about how, you know, how important it is uh, for an athlete to relax. You know, they, 
an athlete goes out and exercises and, you know, preps and preps and then actually goes out and does the sport, their body needs time to recuperate and rest. Therefore, you have to train yourself to relax. And it was so nice to, for him because I've been saying this since my teenage years that people just don't get this kind of concept that they get this thought process of relaxing equals laziness. And the more active and the more productive you become, the more important it is to learn how to relax. And just like anything on our human physical body, our mind is a muscle and if we are using it to study ourself we need to have time to be able to relax that muscle so that it can get strong to be able to go forward and handle the next test, the next lesson, the next observation, the next goal. And it's very important to learn how to do that relaxation if you are trying to learn and think about what you think about. How else can you hear what you're thinking about if you're constantly trying to learn something. It's about breaking free out of the box to sit there and be aware of the now. Just the now, right now, puts you in a relaxing moment. If we worry about the future, that is not taking our mind and thinking about the now. Unless you are sitting there and literally trying to do something about it. Like you're writing down what's the worry, what are some of the ways I can achieve the get out of this problem, what are the, some of the things that will not help that I'm usually doing. You know, okay, so that's physically doing something about the mentality. But just worrying about something, sitting down on a rock or sitting down at your desk or sitting in bed all day, being depressed, thinking about the problem is not relaxing. To find the answer to these problems that are inside us that will be given to us by God. Because these lessons in life are being given to us. These are gifts. It depends on how you look at things. So if you're able to see that you need to relax. So let's say, let's, let's try to like say multitask for a minute here. How can you relax and multitask at the same time? Well, if you go and to and do a walk and a hike to a place that you've never been before and you go to that park bench, that rock, that tree and you sit underneath it just for, if you've never done this before, one minute is going to be very difficult and hard to do. Sitting at a window and staring out the window with no TV on, no radio on, no internet on, no music on can be very, very, very difficult for somebody to just watch a squirrel run around and find entertainment and enjoyment in that and let their mind drift. It is very important to not get confused with relaxation and laziness. You'll know the difference, especially as the days go on. I hope that this helps you want to be able to find the time to read the Bible and find time to fill in the blanks.
God bless you, my patriots. See you tomorrow on day 28.